Hi, I'm John Gilstrap, author of the Jonathan Grave Thriller series, and in this episode of A Writer's View, we're going to talk about what seems like a very simple question, but in fact can be rather difficult, and that is, how do you know when your book is done? This is a question that was sent to me uh, via email by a subscriber to this channel. And he's in the process of finishing his first novel. He's working it, working it, working it. And, and he said he's getting obsessed with the edits themselves. And he's really worried about breaking the back of the piece, about editing it too far. Well, the reality is that when you're writing fiction in particular, every word, every paragraph, every chapter break is a decision that's made from infinite variables. You can choose whatever word you want, you can choose whatever character name you want, you can choose whatever actions you want, you stitch it together in such a way that you hope that it holds a reader's interest. When you put it on paper, you think it's the right thing to do, but then when it comes time to edit the piece, afterwards you read it, and how can you possibly be sure? You know, years ago, a very good friend of mine who's an artist, a painter, told me that one of the hardest things, what separates a professional artist from an amateur is knowing when you've got exactly the right number of leaves on a tree or the exact number of snowflakes floating in the air in, in a landscape. Now, obviously there is no such thing as an exact number, but there is an exact feel. And if nothing else, I think when it comes to editing a book, you either know you've got it or you know that you don't have it. A lot of people will talk themselves into believing that a project that isn't quite finished is, if only because, in many cases, they're tired of working on it, or they're tired of working as hard as is necessary. So I'm going to give you some clues on what I use and how I know when a book is ready for prime time. But first, let's get rid of, of one fallacy, uh, something that apparently is not as obvious as I always thought it was, and that is the fact that your book is entirely your responsibility. The story, the quality, the punctuation, all of that is 100% your responsibility. That's your job. Be professional at your job. Your agent's job is to take your really good book and sell it and get you paid. A publisher's job is to print and distribute your really good book. And an editor's job at a publishing house is to take your really good book and make it a little bit better. Fix the minor glitches. They are not there to help you retool a story or to help you develop a kernel of an idea into a larger story. Um, it's your job as a writer, I write thrillers, we've said this over and over again, but even if you're writing romance, no matter what it is, it's your job to make sure that your kick-ass first chapter is followed by a kick-ass second chapter and third and fortieth as we go along. There's, there's, no, there's no place in this process for laziness. There's no point where you can say, okay, well, I've got their attention and I can, I can slide through. It just doesn't happen. So, spelling matters, pacing matters, uh, setting matters, character probably matters more than anything else, and the word choice, I've done some other videos on, on point of view and voice, uh, maybe you take a look at, at, at those to get into some of those details, but each of these choices for how you stitch sentences together and how you stitch words together all affect character and setting and the plot and everything else. That's all on you. So. Given that level of pressure, you ask, how do you ever possibly stop proofreading? How do you possibly go through and say that, okay, this is exactly what I want it to be? Well, the flippant answer is when it's perfect, stop editing. But that's really not helpful, is it? Um, I will tell you that in, with Nathan's Run, I talk about that a lot on this channel because it was my first novel. It's the one that, that broke me out. Um, when I did Nathan's Run, my role or my, my uh, object was I would read the manuscript cover to cover until I was able to make a pass all the way through without a substantive change. 
Now, that meant many, many pass-throughs and many, many changes. Uh, sometimes it was a matter of changing back things that I had changed on the last run because I liked my first uh, instincts better. But let's be honest. You know, there is, there's, um, if, if you put the I before E in the word ceiling somewhere in chapter 8 or chapter 14, that's not going to get your book rejected. If you do it on page 1, maybe it will. Because once people, if people get to chapter 8 or chapter 13, they're already engaged with the story, right? So you've already established yourself as a master of words. You certainly have a familiarity with the language. So you've already met that bar. But early in your career, and certainly early in the, ma ma early in the first manuscript early in your career, uh, there's really no quarter. You've, you've got just have to get it right. And if you know that you're one of those people uh, for whom spelling and grammar does not come easily, there are a bunch of people out there to whom it does come easily. So send it out there. Get it, uh, get some help, get some beta readers. Workshop it. Uh, go to conferences and, and share your work. I've talked about in other video about some of the uh, things to worry about in workshopping a manuscript. But get some help from others. But remember, at the end of the day, yours is the only name that goes on the spine. There's a real danger when people edit their work, particularly early in their careers, is a real danger of editing all the personality out. One of the biggest elements of fiction is voice. And oftentimes that voice that comes out when you're spilling the words out onto the page, while there may be typos and the, the uh, the grammar might not be exactly correct, and but the voice itself often is what you want it to be. So I'm going to say if, since the, the game here is really about telling a good story well, I think you're done editing when you read the manuscript and you really like what you've written. That's when it's time to set it aside, let it bake for a little while, give yourself a week or two, come back and read it again, and if you still really like it, you're done. Still fix the typos and all that, but in terms of substantive changes, in terms of plotting or pacing or character or anything else, if you still like it, if nothing else, it's the book that you wanted to write. So there's my two cents on this. Um, if you're watching this, please, uh, obviously, if you're watching this, we're talking to you. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, particularly if you're watching this on Facebook. Uh, the YouTube channel is important to me. And even if you don't do that, please take care and please keep reading. I'm John Gilstrap.